March 3rd, 2021, 52 degrees. Quick beehive update. Hive number one looks great. Let's check out the food stores in the front. Looks great. These are working the sugar even more than last week. Wasn't expecting that, but we just got the first bee sting of the year. So out come the brand new gloves. Down the line shot. You see how it looks. I have number two on the end. A lot of activity out here today. Looks really good. Had some snow melt over the last week. Still have a ways to go. Besides the dead out, you see a few bees going in for resources, whatever's left in there. This is the hive that I questioned last week. That looks a lot different today, more activity. That looks really good. Looking to see if they're bringing in any pollen. Pollen's an indicator that there absolutely is a queen in there. We mentioned that before. And uh, that, that foraging bee had pollen. So is that one. Looks good. Maple bloom is starting to open up. Definitely see some bees working the maple, quite a few. Always a positive sign. Try for a close up over here. Big unknown is this one. So take a quick peek inside this one. That looks good. saw enough of what I had to see in there. I definitely don't want to start breaking frames apart today. This is a good sign. A really good sign.
bees are pulling out the dead. So let's do a quick count here. There's one behind me, there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one over on the other side is eleven. So although it's only March 3rd, you definitely want to keep an eye on your bees early in the season, depending on what the weather does. The maple blooms out. It's just the first of many that are going to appear from a pollen and nectar point over the next few weeks and months. So the activity inside the hives will pick up dramatically. The queen will start laying more eggs each day and the brood will be more and more each day. Therefore, more bees will begin to hatch in the next couple weeks. Definitely going to keep an eye on all of the hives. These nukes, I do not want to leave in nukes too long past the end of March. I'm going to put those in eight frames or 10 frame colonies, let those grow out. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe.